Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap with Southern California correspondent Scott Shapiro. ShapCap is sponsored by Derby Wars, your site for daily horse racing tournaments. And ShapperToCapper.com, your site for daily handicapping info from across the United States. Hey, racing fans, welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap. Monster Weekend coming up here at Santa Anita Park. Five grade one events at the Great Race Place as we prepare for the 2016 Breeders' Cup. All five grade ones, $300,000. Let's get to it. The first of them, the Awesome Again Stakes, featuring 2014 Horse of the Year and the heavy favorite for 2016 Horse of the Year, California Chrome. Chrome gets back at it after two incredible efforts at Del Mar. First, the near uh, miss against uh, Dortmund, who will return in this one in the San Diego, and then the dominating performance at a mile and a quarter in the Pacific Classic. Dortmund and Barmate, Opportunity will once again give it a shot in a short field against Chrome. Dortmund adds the blinker, so is likely to send, but this is Chrome's race to lose clearly. Should be a heavy, heavy favorite and will be very tough to beat. I will not try to do so at the mile and an eighth on Saturday. And then at a mile and a sixteenth, another grade one, you got the Zenyatta Stakes for the females. And it'll feature the rematch between Beholder and Stellar Wind. Beholder, after losing the narrow finish, Two stellar win in the Clement Del Hirsch. Took on the boys in the Pacific Classic and finished a valiant second despite not being a match for California Chrome. Meanwhile, Stellar Wind took time off off the big win in the Clement Del Hirsch to prepare for the Zenyatta and, of course, the ultimate goal of the Breeders' Cup this staff. It'll be interesting to see how these two go at it again this time. Great ride last time by Victor Espinoza to, to stalk Beholder throughout the race in the Clement Del Hirsch. Not sure if they'll both be fully amped up for this one or not, but I expect Mandela to have Beholder ready. He does not want to lose the Stellar to win twice in a row. Should be an incredible rematch and a good, good duel in the stretch once again. And then you have two big two-year-old races to prepare for the Juvenile and the Juvenile Phillies over the surface. First off, in the front runner, you have the top three finishers from the Del Mar Futurity at seven furlongs, a one-turn event. They'll all try two turns for the first time. You've got the winner, Clemp, who was incredible, impressive in that race. Ran by the second-place finisher, straight fire, like he was basically standing still. Um, Klimt looks very tough to beat in this spot if he can continue to move forward for Bob Baffert and Kaleem Shaw. But, you know, I love straight fire. And Shelby Rose's Midnight Pleasure also, a look, of, a look of a horse that continues to move forward. Should be interesting to see how they all perform around two turns. I'll probably give straight fire another shot. Not another, not a monster race to wager on, more one to watch and prepare for the juvenile. And then two of the best betting races of the day, first of them, the other two-year-old race, you have the Chandelier, a big field of two-year-old fillies will be going at it, including the second and third and fourth place finishers from the Del Mar Deputant. You have the full sister of American Pharaoh, American Cleopatra, her barn mate noted and quoted, and the one I like most at two turns coming out of that race, Champagne Room for Peter Yurton. This horse is a very nice looking animal and has the look of a runner that wants to go two turns. Should improve with the added distance. Was not that impressive in the Del Mar Deputant. Didn't run, I don't think, her best race. But I think she moves forward in this one. And then the wild card in there, and a horse I really like. The winner of the, of the uh, Del Mar Juvenile Phillies Turf Race. That's with honors for LNJ Foxwoods. This horse has trained well over the dirt, has some pedigree to suggest the dirt should not be a problem. Drew the rail, but has shown an incredible ability and class in her first two races. With honors, has a shot to take down the top three in terms of the second, third, and fourth place finishers from the Del Mar Deputant, but a host of others in there. Should be a great race. And then the final uh, grade one $300,000 event is possibly the best betting race of the day, and that's the Rodeo Drive for Phillies and Mares over the lawn. The brand new turf course at Santa Anita. Should be fun this first weekend to see how it plays. You've got the winner of the John C. Maybe Avenge looking to prove that that was no fluke for Richard Mandela. You've got two Costa Horonas John Sadler runners, Electrum, who finished third in that event with a wide trip, as well as Nancy from Nairobi, who didn't really show up in there, and a full field to take them on. Incredible betting race to me. I've got a lot of work still to get through that one with the PPs just coming out a short time ago. But great race, the Rodeo Drive. So five grade ones, star-studded, California Chrome, Beholder, Stellar Wind, 
you've got Klimt, straight fire. You've got Champagne Room, American Cleopatra, noted and quoted and with honors in the uh, Chandelier, and then a full field of turf runners in the Rodeo Drive. Should be an absolutely wonderful 11 race card. Get there if you can. If not, I'm sure you'll be playing it via your favorite ADW. But either way, good luck at the windows. Enjoy the card. We'll be back next week to get back into the Breeders' Cup distaff and kind of discuss how things went from the past weekend. Have a good one, everyone. Thanks for tuning in.